Residents in the Elyria Swansea neighborhood have had no heat or hot water for three days now. A damaged gas line is causing quite the headache for people who just want to take a shower. Denver 7's Anna Guajardo spoke with some of those frustrated residents. The digging, the disarray, the disruption. When is going to stop? <laughs> it's becoming too much for some residents in the Elyria Swansea neighborhood. On Wednesday morning, I turned on the, my stove and uh, it went on. I thought the stove was broken. Then she realized it wasn't just her home. So I called my neighbors and nobody has a um, gas. For more than four decades, Lilia Uribe has called the house on the corner of 48th Avenue and Elizabeth Street home. She says at times she feels like residents here are forgotten. We don't get any notice. Not even some people say they got a message or they call them, but not, not to me. Her street is impassable, nearly unrecognizable. As Excel crews work around the clock to restore gas after the main gas line was damaged. It's not clear how it was damaged or who is responsible. It's scary because it can, we can blow up. Workers shut off the gas Wednesday morning. They're now digging up and replacing a gas main and the gas lines to homes in the area of 48th and Clayton. No hot water for showers. That's the only thing that's uh, most frustra frustrated. Leaving many to get resourceful. I'm going to grill some pork chops today. I got this to warm my tortillas and the grill over there. Lilia uses a camping stove to boil water. We broil water and put it in the tub and yeah. Like gold times. <laughs> yeah, well, we got no choice, so. Excel Energy released a statement reading in part, significant work still needs to be done to replace a portion of the impacted gas line, and we do not have an estimated time of restoration. No timeline for the next hot shower or the next meal in the kitchen. Addie Guajardo, Denver 7. Mm.